claim. Fewer than 97% of adults have a cell phone. In a reputable poll of 1,121 adults, 87% said that they have a cell phone. Find the value of the test statistic. Okay, and we're going to round that test statistic to two decimal places. So let's take a look at it here. So if we were talking about the proportion P, then this is the formula that we would use. If we're talking about the mean, okay, with the T distribution, then, and if the standard deviation is not known and normally distributed, or the standard deviation is not known and N is greater than 30, then we would use the T distribution test statistic. Okay, if we're looking for the mean and the population standard deviation is known and normally distributed, or the population standard deviation is known and N is greater than 30, we would use the Z test statistic formula. And if we were looking for the standard deviation, sigma, or the variance, we would see that the, the sample distribution is chi-squared, okay, and the strict requirement is normally distributed, and then we would use the chi-square formula. But in order to figure out the parameter, we need to look at the claim, okay? So let's go ahead and highlight the claim of our problem. So here is our claim, okay? And the claim states the following. It says that fewer than 97% of adults have a cell phone, okay? So now it's not saying anything about standard deviation or variance, nothing about the mean, and so therefore, we're looking at the proportion because it gives us a proportion value, 97%. So let's first figure out the claim, okay, and the opposite of the claim, okay? Well, the claim says fewer than 97% of adults have a cell phone. So if we're using the population proportion P, right? then that means we're using the symbol P, and it says fewer than. And then write that as a decimal is 0 0.97, okay? And then the opposite of that claim would then be P, which is going to be greater than or equal to 0 0.97. Okay, now, if we wanted to find the null, okay, and the alternative hypothesis, we know the null is always going to contain the equality. So therefore, we automatically can assume that the opposite would go with the null. So that means the proportion is going to equal 0 0.97 for the null hypothesis. And therefore, the claim would then be the alternative where the population proportion is less than 0 0.97. Okay, now, since we know it's the population proportion, we're going to use the test statistic for that. Okay? So let's take a look at that formula. Okay? So with that formula, okay, we need to know the following. Okay? We need to know the point estimate, which is p hat. We need to know the population proportion. And we need to know the value of n. So in step number three, okay, what, what do we know about P? Well, we know that P is given here, okay? So I'm going to highlight that. P is coming from the null hypothesis. So there is the value of P, okay? And so we know that P is going to equal the value of 0.97. Okay, Okay. so we know where P is going to go. So we know that P is going to be here and under the radical sign. Okay, now what we need to do is now determine, okay, what is Q? Well, Q represents the complement of P. Okay, so that means that in order to find Q, it's going to equal... 1 minus, in this case, that is the 0 0.97. Okay, and so that's going to equal 
0 0.03. Okay, and then the other information that we need to know is the following. We need to know what is the sample size n. Okay, so the sample size n is given here. It's saying that there was a poll of 100, excuse me, 1,121 adults. So that represents the sample size. And then we have the point estimate. Well, the point estimate is 87% said that they have a cell phone. So what do we do with this 87%? Well, the point estimate is the sample percentage. In this case, it's 87%. So now we're going to write that as 0 0.87. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula to find that test statistic. So Z is going to equal the point estimate, which we found to be 0 0.87, minus P, which is 0 0.97. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of P, which is 0 0.97, times Q, which is 0 0.03. And then we're going to divide that by n, which is 1,121. And then we're going to find that test statistic. So let's go ahead and do this on our calculator. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the numerator. So we have 0 0.87 minus 0 0.97, and we get negative 0 0.1. And then we're going to divide that by the square root. Now the square root, what we're going to do is we want to make sure that when you're doing this entirely, okay, you want to make sure that you have parentheses around or brackets around the entire thing so you do not lose any uh, order of operations in this problem. So what we can do here, okay, is we're just going to erase this middle part here, and then we're going to put the time sign in there, just to make it a little bit more easier for us when we put this in our calculator. So this is going to be times, okay? So we have our main parenthesis, and then in the numerator, we have this parenthesis, which is 0 0.97 times 0 0.03 close the parenthesis so that represents that one and then we're going to divide it by 1121 so divided by parenthesis 1121 close the parenthesis and then we're going to add that last parenthesis there and then press enter so this is the value that we get negative 19.62 so let's go ahead and copy this result, okay? And then what they want us to do in the problem is they want us to round to two decimal places as needed. So if we round this to two decimal places, we're going to get negative 19.63. Let's go ahead and put that value in here, negative 19.63, press enter, and then there is our result.